From Mar Lodge, I want to get to Glenmore, just north of Aviemore. But standing between me and my ultimate destination are the Cairngorms. The conventional way would be for me to follow the road around the mountains, but I'm keen to try a harder, more direct route. This is pretty much as far as I can go because the road ahead is definitely not suitable for ancient old tricycles. Now this glen marks the beginning of the Larry Gru, which is an ancient old pass through the heart of the Cairngorms. So if I want to get to Speyside, I'm afraid it's goodbye tricycle and hello bicycle. The Larry grew as an impressive ice-scoured cleft. It was formed thousands of years ago by long-vanished glaciers that once covered the mountains of Scotland. Although it forms a natural pass, the top of the Larry grew is too high and snowbound to have ever developed as a road link. Joining me on my jaunt through the Cairngorms is Scottish mountain biking champion Lee Craigie. What kind of track are we on today, do you think? Is it uh, difficult? The Larry Grew is rooty, it's rocky, um, it's steep up, steep down, so if something goes wrong on a trail out here, then that's, it's got different repercussions to a trail centre. Because so. you're a long way from civilization. That's right, yeah. And, and rescue. You're going to need to carry me out. Right, I was hoping you're going to carry me out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think our chances are to get to the top of the Larry Grew? Well, if we keep hanging around chatting, very slim. Right. OK, let's see how far we can get. Well, this is definitely easier than the old tricycle. It's the way that mountain bikes open up remote and inaccessible parts of the highlands that makes the sport so appealing to me. But the term cycling has to be used loosely here. There's almost as much carrying of your bike as there is of riding it on routes like this. I'm not gaining on you, Lee. <laughs> you might call yourself a champion, but I'm right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> The modern mountain bike may be much more sophisticated than my old tricycle, but in trying to keep up with the Scottish mountain bike champion on this rather challenging terrain, I managed to get my first puncture of the trip. Now, Lee, it's a bit sad because uh, my, my tyre has lost all its puff, a bit like me. Look at the size of that. A huge hole. I always used to hate mending punctures when I was a kid. Yeah. I used to always try and get my dad to do it, and he never did. <laughs> you said you've got to do it yourself. Well, then why am I doing this for you? Well, I'm sure you're more experts at oh, this see. particular type of wheel. That's my excuse. OK. You've got to save your energy for the cross trains. I do, because I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> but it's quite tough going, isn't it? I mean, this yeah. is, I mean I'm, I'm right to feel tired. It's not easy to yeah. rain. It's, it's, it's to be expected. Right. But it's a fantastic location. I think that's what punctures are, are for, really. Sometimes on a mountain bike you can, because you cover ground so fast. Well, you, you, can, um, <laughs> you can keep your head down, can't you? Uh -huh. And you forget to look up. Yeah. And it's such a shame. What's the point in passing through all of this unless you stop to look up? The landscape of the Cairngorm National Park is truly breathtaking. But few early visitors to Scotland would have ventured into this relatively unknown region. The Larry Gru has always fascinated me. I first came here when I was 18 and have attempted to walk the route several times but have never managed to complete it. I'm determined this time, with the aid of pedal power, to make it. <laughs> hmm, perhaps not. Well, here we are, Lee. I think we're only about... What, a third of the way through? Yeah, we're not very far there. We're not very far at all, <laughs> And the are path we? is just... It's just getting interesting now, isn't it? Right, but I think it's probably fair to say that you'd expect it to be a little bit further on by now. Yeah, I think if we were going to try and get to Aviemore, we would need to be quite a lot further on. Right. I mean, do you think it's realistic? I think we need to go in, maybe do a little bit more training and come back, Paul. Do you feel that you're being held back in any way? Oh, I couldn't possibly see. <laughs> right. Well, thank you very much for your advice, Lee. But I'm made of sterner stuff, and I go to bash on. 
So I'll see you later. <laughs> Farewell. More likely never to be seen again. It's nothing to me. A mere bagatelle. You know, on second thoughts, it does seem a hell of a long way. Uh, I'm going to head back this way. Wait for me, Lee. I'm coming back. With buttocks hideously battered and bruised, I've once more been defeated by the Larry Gru. You've got gravity to take you back down. Lovely thought. That's gravity. Mountain biking may be a great way to get out into the wilderness, but after another puncture and several more miles on foot rather than in the saddle, I think perhaps some places in Scotland are just not meant to be conquered by bike.